Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is Gogo here from Zhuhai, China. So in my last video, I made a comparison review between the 2021 Made in China Model 3 and the 2020 Made in China Model 3. If you are interested in that video and you haven't seen it, please go and check it out. And in this video, I'm going to do a charging test of the 2021 Made in China Standard Range Plus Model 3. So this particular model uses a LFP battery from a company called CATL in China. And this battery has some uh, idiosyncratic characteristics compared with the batteries made in the United States by uh, LG and Panasonic. And uh, based on the latest information I have here in China, uh, Shanghai Jika factory has already started to make a right-hand drive cars that will be exported to uh, countries like Australia, New Zealand, even a uh, region like Hong Kong. So uh, let's have a look about the uh, charging speed of this LFP battery. So now let's go to the supercharging station. So before going to the supercharging station, it is highly recommended to navigate to the supercharger by using this onboard navigation system. Even though you may know the route to the supercharging station, but you can see here, it says preconditioning battery for fast charging, meaning that it is heating up the batteries to about 40 degrees Celsius to obtain the highest charging speed. So now let's head to the charging station. So now I have arrived at the Tesla supercharging station. Um, first, let's have a look at the battery right now. So I only have 52 kilometers of range left, which is less than 10% right now. One advantage of the LFP battery is that we can see when we set limit, uh, Tesla would not recommend you to set your daily usage at 80% or 90%. On the contrary, you can charge the LFP battery to 100% every time. So for LG and Panasonic battery made in the United States Stand Range Plus Model 3, uh, Tesla does not recommend you to charge to 100% every time. But with LFP battery, you can do that every time. So now let's start charging. So this is the supercharging station here. As we can see, it is a version 3 superchargers. Yeah, the cable is thinner compared with the version 2 superchargers, so it's quite easy for you to maneuver here. Let's put it in. When the signal here turns green, it means that it uh, is starting to charge the battery. Okay, so starts the charging. Let's go inside the car. Supercharging. Yeah. So it reaches about 80 kilowatts right now. Oh, that's quite impressive. And uh, it remains about 100 kilowatts. Now, please be reminded that I have preconditioned the battery for uh, the superchargers uh, by using the onboard navigation system. Yeah, and it is dropping to about 80 kilowatt. Yeah, and uh, it remains at 80 kilowatt. And it slightly drops to 75 kilowatts. Yeah. Let's see what will happen when the battery charge to, let's say, uh, 50%. Hi, here's the quick update now. I have charged the battery to around 50%. So let's have a look at the charging speed right now. So as we can see, the charging speed has decreased to 62 kilowatts. Actually, uh, when I started to charge the battery, uh, it is about 5% and it reached the peak of 100 kilowatt for less than, uh, let's say, 10 seconds maybe, and it started to gradually decrease. And uh, just about, uh, let me see, 
five minutes ago, the charging speed is maintained at 70 kilowatts, but uh, it again started to decrease and maintain at about 60 kilowatts. So I started the charging at uh, 145 p.m. and it's about 15 minutes later. It charged 173 kilometers. I think it is acceptable. The speed is acceptable. So let's wait and see uh, at about 75% of the state of charge. Let's see the charging speed later. Talk to you soon. A quick update. Now the battery has charged to about 75%. I started the charging at 1.45 p.m. Now it's 2.17 p.m. So it's about 30 minutes from 5% to 75%. Yeah, I think that's quite impressive. Now let's check the state of charge. So it is 331 kilometers of range right now and uh, it's about 77 or 78 percent. We can see that the charging speed decreased to 41 kilowatt right now. So it gradually decreased from 50%, it was about 60 kilowatts. And to 75%, it is only about 40 kilowatts. It said times remaining to full uh, capacity of the battery is 30 minutes. So uh, another 30 minutes of waiting. So let's see what will happen when the charging speed uh, reaches at 90% state of charge. So the state of charge of the battery have reached at 90%. Let's have a look at the charging speed now. We can see that charging speed has decreased to 32 kilowatts. And this, frankly, that's quite slow right now. It starts from the 90% and time remaining is 20 minutes. So I think for daily usage, if you are in a hurry, you can charge it only from 5% to 75%, which only takes you about 30 minutes. So while we are waiting for uh, the battery to charge to 100%, let me talk about the range of the LFP battery in the standard range plus. Let's have a look here. So based on the Audiometer here, I've driven about a thousand and four hundred and nine kilometers, and the average consumption is one hundred and forty one watt hour per kilometer, which is fourteen point one kilowatt hour per one hundred kilometers. So, what does fourteen point one kilowatt hour per a hundred meters mean? So, for the LFP battery. Uh, Standard Range Plus Model 3 made in China, it has a 55 kilowatt hour battery. So a simple calculation, you can get if you are at uh, 100% uh, with 55 kilowatt hour battery, your range in reality, based on my average consumption here, should be around 380 kilometers. So let's see when the battery charge to 100% what the uh, big screen here tells me about the range it can do. Uh, whether there is any difference, let's have a look later. So the charging is almost finished now. Let's have a look at the condition. So at about 98 or even 99% state of charge, the charging speed reduced to uh, 7 kilowatt. Yeah, that's quite normal because the higher the capacity of the battery, the lower the speed it has here. So 77 kilowatts. So the estimated uh, range to 100% of the battery is about 425 kilometers. However, based on my previous calculation, the real world range of the LFP battery Standard Range Plus Model 3 it's only about 380 kilometers. It will never reach 425 kilometers based on what the computer said. 
And uh, one thing that was noticed is that the LFP battery is really sensitive to the outside temperature. I'm in Zhuhai, China here, and uh, the temperature right now in January is, let me check, 24 degrees Celsius. So this temperature is really comfortable for the battery. Uh, based on those discussion forum here in China, some Tesla owners in Beijing with temperature at uh, minus 10 degrees Celsius, uh, the LFP battery suffered a lot. So the range is about 280 kilometers when you turn on the heater, which is uh, used quite a lot of energy. And with the help of the heat pump, uh, we can say that the efficiency to turn on the heater is uh, significantly increased. But because I'm in uh, Southern China right now, uh, I cannot test the uh, uh, winter condition for the LFP battery because we simply have no winter here. Okay, so I think that will be all for today's video. Uh, if you enjoy watching it, please like it, share it, and comment down below about any question you have related to this LFP battery Standard Range Plus made in China Model 3. Since this car will be exported to many European countries and also right-hand drive countries as well. So, see you next time!